Alright, what's up YouTube? Um, working on these Alex things again. That is Dada in the camera. Yeah? So... Stuck in them. I was able to clean them out to get the triple square in there. So I'm just gonna keep doing that with the rest of these and then get them out. I'm just gonna use because I'm not gonna waste time trying to clean these up when I can just get some that I already have. Yep, this is a problem. So, the chrome is stuck. Um, so, um, best way to do this, okay, leave that. Good. 
So these barrels are too big. So we got both smaller caps just in case. Probably not going to use them. But we do have these barrels that, of course, I have to clean up because three piece has zero quality control. So, gonna probably using them home, house them home. Okay. They line up, so that's good. Couple of bolts in here. Got five of them. Let's see, this one's not very clean, so I'm probably not gonna use this one. Look for ones I cleaned out good enough. the goods. See? Nice, clean hardware. Clean. And it is Weds, so I'm cool to use it. Actually cleaned the heck out of these when I rebuilt my batteries. I have done them and I um, ended up doing gold bolts on the batteries. So I have all these leftovers. So I'm just gonna do a couple nuts. Mom friends pulling up. Not my mom friend, obviously. My fiance is mom's friends. My fiance's mom friends. Not the mom's friends. It's okay to use this electric ratchet. This does not tighten for sure. This does not tighten very well. So I'm gonna go around. Um, there's a lot of questions about having to do it in a star pattern. I don't believe it's necessary, but for for the first five bolts, I'm gonna go ahead and go in a star pattern anyway. Just cause you want the face to go in nice and smooth. And 
that is all I'm going to do for this wheel for now. Um, the owner does want to test fit these lips and barrels before resorting to these lips because uh, those are like about an inch smaller. So we're going to try and see if we can get these to fit by slotting the strut some more and getting a little bit more camber on the inside. Uh, the problem with the bigger barrel was the barrel was hitting the, the bags. So smaller barrel is the fix. Um, for people that don't know how to measure the width of your wheels, believe it or not, some people still don't know how to do it. You're gonna go from inside to inside. So this is now going to be a 10 and a half wide wheel. I don't know why you went down half an inch meal. I'm mad at you. Um, still gonna have trouble fitting that, but I guess that's what you bought these lips for. Uh, that's it for now. I am 30 minutes in. I'm gonna cut this a lot shorter for the actual YouTube video. I'm trying to hold this thing and oh I forgot I could lock it. So if you lock that. Wow. Anyways, that's not what I wanted. Um that's it for now. I know I'm uploading twice in a week or one day right after the other. Reason for that being is to be honest, I have a free trial on this video editing app on my phone. I want to get used to it, get my feel for it, see how I like it before I'm going to commit to it. Um, so I'm going to try and do as much content as I can in my free trial period. Um, I've got a lot of good suggestions from you guys, uh, good feedback, stuff that you know I didn't think of the first time around after I uploaded it. Uh, you guys gave me that feedback and I do appreciate it. Um, so hopefully this time around with this video, it will address those issues that uh, may not be issues to you, but to people like me that are con or not a content creator, but um, aspiring content creator. Um, just small nitpicky things that do make a world of a difference in the actual editing world or you know YouTube world or whatever. For people that ask on my Instagram and stuff, probably going to be YouTube also, asking where I got my wheel spinner, the spinner, uh, at AidenMT on Instagram. Shoot him a DM, let him know you need one. He will hook it up. This thing is solid. I use this probably more than like anything else in this garage now. Um, it has made doing stuff like this an absolute breeze. And I mean, it has cut times like in half when it comes to putting in all the bolts, tightening everything up, putting and laying down the tape and the silicone for the beads, all of that, just small things that you don't think of when rebuilding wheels, but it makes a world of a difference. Hit them up on Instagram, uh, get yourself one. Again, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, you guys are way further than I anticipated. Uh, thank you again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe so I can get some more content out. Um, I plan to take on as many things as I can so that I have content to put out. Um, also, if you just read that, you'll get your widths. But uh, again, thanks guys, later.